Guys, it is 24 hours out from Strongest Man on Earth, and we are down eating breakfast. This is unbelievable. What is that? Onion, oat granola, or something. Mm. Guys, omelette, buttermilk pancakes, some pineapple, and I get a beautiful view in front of me. So I'm going to enjoy breakfast, and then we're going to go over to the expo, get some IV drips, just watch them. Straw man, strong women. I love the dream. See you soon. Tom, what's in your coffee this morning? My everybody has to guess my coffee flavour. It's the same every single time. I'll give you a clue. It's oat milk something something. Oh my god, is that tan style me? <laughs> Okay, just bring it back to I'll bet the expo. Okay. We'll be in the expo after. We okay. got a drip and stuff anyway. So. <laughs> My name is Maxine. Yeah, so we're getting IV drips today. I always get IV now before the show. Alex is a genius. Got him at World Show with man. Gonna get him here, so yeah. Get topped up with some IVs, get the good stuff flowing through the veins, then we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Can I get a picture with you? Can I get a picture with you and your wife? Hi. Hi. All right, get your phone ready. He's so tall. <laughs> oh my god. This is awesome. Oh, I've got three people doing it. <laughs> Look at this. I'm oh. like here as well. This is That's disgusting. It's called sweat. I know. It's so hot in here. We are like, I'm 185 <laughs> kilograms in a big massive arena, and no wonder I'm sweating. Sweaty. You can feel the, the liquid going in it. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, alright. Sorry. Hey, I got you coming first this year, big man. <laughs> After last year? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello. Hello, my name's Danielle. <laughs> cool to meet you. Hi. <laughs> Stay spicy. Goodbye, Alex. They hate it. So, my favorite go-to vitamin C. Um, it's huge for these guys because they're always um, traveling. I really just want to keep their immune systems up. I like to pair them with glutathione. Glutathione is like essentially just uh, football pad pads for your white blood cells. So they just hit harder, recover faster, take on any um, illnesses. B12 is a big one for us. It takes like 150 steaks to eat in one sitting to hit your B12. So, you know, if we bypass that and go into the vein directly, you're going to get the entire um, piece of it. And then you got B complex, which is basically your mom and dad's multivitamin they used to make you eat. Um, that one that tastes like copper and pennies. So uh, he'll probably pee neon green tonight, but that's because I make sure I top him off with a good amount of this. Uh, my name is Roy Moviru. Uh, Tom Stormman inspired me when I watched his documentary that he was, he's a special needs uh, guy. So he inspired me to introduce sport to my son. Who is Troy Mubiru has a special needs. He inspired me to make a whole, uh, foundation in Uganda looking after kids with special needs. We have almost 41 kids, and I want them to be like strong, to become an athlete and a world champion. So I love him. I'm inspired by him and his brother. Luke Stolman too. They are so generous and they are so good guys. So humble. 
That's why I was inspired for, to introduce my son, Troy, with special needs, to sports. Hey, we love you. We love your story. So I watch your story. And I hope my son one day becomes like Always watching on the TV. He signed a shirt for my daughter. Big Mike had you sign this shirt for her. This is her. She is your biggest fan in the entire world, man. That's cute. Mike even asked her like what she loves about you, and she says she loves how you and Luke are brothers and work together. And she loves you, man. Would you take a picture for her, if you don't mind? I think one of the biggest things in terms of describing is the aspect of how big this is going to do. Thank you very much. Oh. He's talking to you. You're good. <laughs> how are you doing? Can we get a picture? Yeah. You want to take a picture? Nice to meet you, man. Always been a huge so awesome. Thanks for the opportunity. Oh, <laughs> this is cold enough to be cool, but not so cold that you vasoconstrict. And so it, the cool blood will go directly back to your heart, gets pumped preferentially to your working muscles, lowering the temperature. So when you're working out, your ATP production is dropping because it's heat sensitive. And this helps keep the temperature of your muscles lower, so your ATP production is higher. Oh. I love you, Tom. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? How are you? You all right? I'm doing good. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm good. I'm very good. Eh? You are so freaking big, dude. Holy crap. Look you at are... the size of your forearms yes. compared to mine. <laughs> Holy shit. Catching, you're catching up, man. Yeah. Catching. Would you mind signing my shirt? Oh. <laughs> Since you're here, you get to decide which one you're keeping. I'll this one. Eh? But, uh, <laughs> but they're both spicy. the spicy chilies. Yeah. And off under him, he's a strong, he's a classic strong man oh, yeah. with like the Tarzan That's thing. That's sweet. Spicy. Okay, thank you very much for mine. You're welcome. Thank you. That's you're cool. welcome. Yeah. Luke, this is you. Little Luke there. Some big teeth. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much, eh? You're thank welcome. you. That's cool, eh? Brian needed an 18 and we couldn't yeah, yeah. we couldn't help him out with that. <laughs> I might, I'd be lying about my shoe size. Eh? We'd love to. You know what? Jeez. I could wear these in the gym easily. Yeah, they're surprisingly comfier than I thought. So. Oh, they feel good. Wow. So, guys, we're at the barefoot stand. I love these kind of shoes. My mates wear them, Trey wears them, Evan wears them, right? I got big feet, but uh, they pulled out. Are these US 16s? 16. So they pulled out the US 16s and look at them. Effect. Now it's time to win seven. I'm on three World Strawberry Man titles. Now it's time to win seven with these. Uh. Seven World Strawberry Man titles with these. With these. Uh. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Big ticket in the uh, Highland. No, you're not the Highland Oak. That's your brother. Highland Oak. Why, why aren't you the Highland Oak? You're taller. <laughs> Uh, uh, Mike check, baby, one, two, three. You know what that's worth? <laughs> I love Trey Mitchell. Uh, He's from I, Texas. I love Tom, the, the big old Scott. Oh, uh, thank you guys. <laughs> Body tempering, it's a type of soft tissue mobilization. It's going to help make the tissue more pliable, increase flexibility, mobility, help with blood flow, help open up any kind of restricted movements help improve athletes positioning and also improve posture as well how much time do you have tom 20 minutes five so minutes 20 20. 20. how's that pressure Maybe one more Some more yeah yeah man. that is good eh? i love it man i feel like a new person i love this kind of stuff i love the pain These are the tools you need. Strong man tools, huh? Yeah. I love these things. I got one in my house. Jeez. Oh. Can't really move. Yeah, yeah. I don't. She just gave it 
Oh, like, good. Just to oh. see how you're feeling. Yeah, like, I can no, feel. you're good. I yeah. can feel, yes. So, what do you think of this? Happen to hear any kind of feedback? Unbelievable. Yeah. I've done stuff like this before, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. Like, I'm just all floating and. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's my different. Hips, it's, different than massage. My neck's fine right? as well. Yeah. 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 Much different, but it's good. So we are in the restaurant watching Tom's favourite team, My United versus Fulham. Come on, Fulham. It is 1.30 right now. I'm hungry. What are these? Pizza logs. Pizza logs. Mozzarella sticks. We like the cool kids. Like the cool kids. They do it differently in America, don't they? So, your friend didn't have a Good. We have to go to Saflora as well. What's Saflora? I'm just going to go drown. Right, guys. The live stream is done. Now it's time to chill out for the night. It's 8 o'clock, so... As you can see, I'm eating pizza. And uh, I said to Tom, when I was away at the live stream, do something different. I asked. I had to go, go ask a few fans to ask questions either about the uh, Smo, so strongest man on earth, or just me in general. So I don't seen them yet. So it's going to be quite fun. Hi Tom, this is Patrick, and my question is for competitions. If you have a jobby on deck, do you use that to your advantage, or is that a disadvantage? To be honest, yeah. Ninety-five percent of the time, I always need a jobby. Obviously, sometimes when you're like. When you're deadlifting and stuff, sometimes when you do, do the deed, do the put, you lose like four or five kilograms. I honestly think that if you hold it in, you get the event done faster. So, like, for example, World Sword Man this year, I really needed one for the loading. But in my head, I'm like, if I hold this in, do the loading event faster than anyone, then go to the toilet, it's a win-win. One, I didn't poo myself. Two, I won the loading event, ended up winning World Sword Man. And three, I did the poo what it was meant to be in the toilet, so I hope that answers your question. But yeah, I usually just hold it in, to be honest with you. Cheers. Hey Tom, it's Carol. I wanna know what your favorite food is or candy when you come to the United States. Oh, what a question. Right, Carol, my favorite food when I come to the United States is chick fil -A. No, sorry, not chick fil -A. Raising Cane's yeah. is, I love, love, Love chicken tenders. Nathan, my nutritionist, has got me into chicken tenders and I can only eat them in the US and I absolutely adore them so much. So, yeah, cheers. Hi Tom, it's Nurse Kate. I would really like to know if you have ever shit your pants mid-lift. Okay, thanks, bye. I did a documentary with Rain Body Fool and it's on the YouTube as well. I was loading, I think I was training with a world record stone uh, and it's just where holding a poo in goes to your disadvantage. So I had the stone on my knee, and when I extended it, I felt my inside like go down, and everything just went loose. So the so I was able just to finish the stone, but as soon as I finished the stone, turned round straight to the toilet. It was already half out. Picked up the toilet paper, tried to wipe, got it all stuck on my fingers. The toilet paper where the stack the tacky was. So yeah, it's actually on the YouTube channel. It's a rain video, but um, that was a very disgusting moment of my life. Only ever done it once. And I'll never do it again. Hi, Tom. It's Anna. My question for you is who do you think is the cutest strongman? Thanks. Anna, who do I think the cutest strongman is? Hmm. Tom. Tom Stokeman, then Thomas Evans. <laughs> and then the rest are fucking like right underground. Hi, Tom. Nathan Payton. In review of your diet, if I were to put a couple of pet-friendly selections for you to choose from in your daily cuisine, what would you choose? What type of puppy or kitten? Please be breed specific, and I'll make it happen. Nathan, you're a sad, sad and weird man. I'm not going to eat a cat because there's hardly any meat on that, and they're absolutely, they're like rats. I absolutely just hate cats, so they're not loyal to family. They run away from you, and uh why would I catch my dinner when I can just have a big, massive, um, what's the Beethoven dog? St. Bernard, that just sits there, and if I have to eat it, it's there. Loads of meat, lots of fat, keeps me high, keeps me happy. There's your answer, St. Bernard, baby. 
Hi Tom, this is John. I was wondering who is going to be in the top five tomorrow at Strongest Man on Earth. For, uh, no particular order. Hey John, my top five is Tom, Hathor, Mitchell, Evan, Lucas Hatton. Thank you. Hey, Thomas, Tyler here. I'm just wondering, what annoys you the most about your brother, Luke? Bye. Hey, Tyler. What annoys me about Luke is one, he's gurney. Two, he's got gray hair. Three, he is the fattest stoltman. <laughs> Hi, Tommy, it's Heidi here. My question for you is, other than Luke, which strong man do you get on best with and why? Bye. Hey, Heidi. The straw man I get on best with. Um, I love, love, love Pal Dwyer. I love having him around because the vibe's so good. He's a joker, he's funny. I'm real glad to be around that world straw man. I was around him all the time. One of the funniest guys you will ever meet. Pal Dwyer and me are bros. Hi, Tom. It's Megan. My question is, if you weren't a professional athlete, what would you do for a living? Bye. Hi, Megan. If I wasn't a professional athlete, I'd probably be a, I would probably be a PT or do something to do with sport. I don't actually know, but it's a hard question because I've been a trauma most of my life, but it would have been something to do with football, 100% coaching wise, going to a team or some sort of PT. Hi Tom, it's Steph. Um, and my question for you is, did you watch Homer Bound as a child? And if you did, did you cry? Who the fuck's Homeward Bound? What is it? Steph, I've watched Homeward Bound and I absolutely had my eyes out. It was so, so sad. One of the worst days of my life. I ended up going, in, uh, going to the dog shelter we have next to our house and buying five dogs. So yeah, thank you all for your questions. I'm quite sad because I ended on a sad question. I was really happy, so. But yeah, thanks, I'm going to eat my pizza and be depressed. <laughs> I always say this all the time, training, anybody in the world can make training look unbelievable. I can make a, I can make myself look strong by lifting a 260k out the stone for a few reps. But if I can't, if you can't do it in competition, it's a total difference. It's the same with diet as well, you know, like, you, people always go on about like, you're not eating healthy, you're eating sweets, you're doing this, you're doing that. But like, this diet, I've been with Nathan for a long, long time now. I mean, the results speak for themselves. And when Nathan's at my side, when Nathan's at the competition doing my bobbed, sugar levels, feeding me skittles, feeding me all these wee hoots. It's unbelievable how much energy that can get you. You know, when you lose all this sugar spike and then you spike back up, he knows the magic number now. He re pricks my finger, bang, I'm recharged. So if I didn't have Nathan or people like that, I'd be thinking after the kind of event, like, why am I so, why have I not got as much energy? Why am I a bit down? But just because of one wee prick of the finger for, for instant level or sugar levels, he'll give me some skittles, he'll do like, eat these, redo it and it's back up to my perfect level he knows the number so just having all these wee things i love having nathan here obviously the wife as well sinead um it's, it's good she's my support person right now and she's my coach for this uh this weekend as well i've already talked to dan as well so we know exactly what we're opening up with in deadlift i think the first event here you know that's what it is is eight events but you don't go one you can't physically go to the limit in every single event or you burn out like with deadlifts half hour will open on something big and probably only need to do two lifts. That's my kind of prediction with that. And you know, everyone goes talks about like winning deadlift, winning this, but again, it's eight events. You know, I know what I, I'm wanting to pull. I know that if I pull it, it puts pressure on people's third lift because my first lift will be lower than a lot of people's first lifts, but my second lift's going to be higher than a lot of people's second lifts because then they'll try that in the third. And if they fail the third, I've already got more points and automatically, you know, bigger places than them. So we've talked about that a lot myself and Dan in, in training a lot of strategic stuff as well. That's what I've been doing a lot of training with. But even with well as man, it's more like I'm strong, I'm gifted for being my strength as well, but it's more how can I get the strategic side of things working? You know, especially with the, like the press medley as a second event as well. It's like a lot of people are gonna go out here and try and do a free fast because they know they can't do five. Whereas me, you know, I want, 90 seconds is, is long enough, I think, for everyone. I think everyone in this group should be able to do at least four, but you know, that's just me. But um, I'm thinking like, you just pace it, you know, every, I know how to pace it, I know exactly what I'm going to be doing pace-wise, and that's all about the thing. And the same with, like, the keg toss. 
I think, you know, I think a few people think they have it easy, but the keg toss is a keg toss at the end of the day. Um, you know, me, Mitchell and uh, Wes have got the world record for a reason because we're the best at it. I just missed the world record by that match, by, for, you know, by myself. So that uh, was a bittersweet moment as well. But, you know, going here, I'm going to get over eight metres and it's going to be a big battle. And then, obviously, we've got the stones. And, I mean, the thing of stones as well, like, it's annoying because Brian Shaw's put these heavy stones in for them to be lifted. And I really, really, really hope half hour or someone actually maybe does one rep of it so that they can push me. Before I came up here, I went through a kind of big sheet for Dan. We put it on a spreadsheet and we said, if your warm-ups are feeling good, this is what you're lifting. If they're feeling a bit down, you're lifting this. That's all good. Yeah, but I feel good, relaxed, chilled out. And we're just going to get it on tomorrow. If I need to fight, I fight. And I was going to give 100%. That's all you can do. Live stream, stream sorry, is in the link. Please, guys, go and buy it. Go and watch it, because it's going to be an incredible show. 16 athletes. Myself, Mitchell, half our Beyonce's back. Everybody's favourite is back. He is looking like an absolute monster. But yeah, I'm not here to talk about anybody else. I'm here to talk about myself. Take the title and let's go. Watch the 16 of the best athletes in the world battle for the strongest man on earth title. Let's do it. Bang, bang, bang. Smile, stay safe and stay spicy.